Build the dream in FIFA 20, pay less and get more, and use the code TVM at checkout for a bigger discount. What is going on guys, TVM here, welcome back to the road to glory. Um, we have, I think, five games at the, the very beginning of this, then we'll move into some packs, and there's an SBC, of course, worth completing, I think the thumbnail reflects that. Um... Not not a ve not a bad start at all, actually. In fact, dare I say, uh, okay, it's Sunday, right? It's currently ten to two in the afternoon, and I have twenty five games left to play. Um, fortunately, though, I don't have anything to do until about seven p.m., so I can get uh, I can get quite a few games in. But it is my best start to a weekend league ever, and I I have gone five and zero oh before, which is what we are currently. So technically speaking, I suppose it's not the best start ever, and it's it's equal to. But in the five games, I make four people rage quit, and they are the first four games that I played. So I'm not going to read too much into it, because obviously you could be peering up against anyone in those first, what, five, ten games. You're not ranked. You are, you know, your, uh, your, your win ratio, what is it like, your, your win streak or whatever the, the whole system is, is, you know, zero. So anyone who's just starting can, can play against you. I could be playing against Division 10 people, so I'm not going to read too much into it. If I was, I don't know, 10 and 0, and I was still making people rage quit and smashing people, then I'd be a little bit more excited about it. But um, first guy left, second guy uh, obviously leaves as well. Uh, this guy actually left within 10 minutes. Uh, it wasn't even the first goal. So we're, we're playing really nice. I think what I've, it's weird, right? All I've done is I've told myself to not be a dickhead. And if I don't see a forward pass, don't force it. And all I'm trying to do is look for an open player to pass to. If I don't see one and I don't think that there's a legitimate pass on, just go backwards or go sideways. There's there's no need to rush. There's no need to just bomb forward. And most of the time, I will lose possession because I'm trying stupid passes or I'm thinking, right, like that there, that was a stupid pass. I get lucky. We get the ball back, and that's one hell of a finish. Nine minutes in, and my opponent decides that's enough for him. To be fair, I don't think he touched the ball. 24% possession. He, he might have just about touched the ball once with a misplaced pass or something. But uh, either way... Um, two wins on the bounce and two rage quits. And then the next game, again, you know, everyone's got this Roberto Carlos now. People keep picking that up because it's cheap and people have got those icon tokens and it makes sense. But um, every team you come up against is, is looking very similar. Uh, not that that really matters, but, um, you know, worth mentioning. Brilliant little goal from Lucas. And I tell you what, his ball control is brilliant. Um, so I asked for advice uh, or suggestions, not advice, on an away kit to choose because we're still rocking the Newport County home kit, which is nothing wrong with it. I'd be happy to keep it all year. However, um, I wanted to change the kits and the top comment was Motherwell away kit. I will look at the Motherwell kit uh, in a bit. I would like something that is uh, like relatively plain. So I have not, I don't know what the Motherwell kit this season looks like. So I'll have a look at uh, that. I, I know it's like the same color as this, right? Or there or thereabouts me if I'm wrong. That pass, by the way, went straight to the keeper. I wanted to pull it back across goal to the um, rushing player or the, the player arriving late into the penalty area. Game decided that it would be better if I kicked it straight at the goalkeeper. So it is what it is. That was um, my opponent's first shot. Not on target, just in general. I, his first attack of the game and he's made it one all. So I was a little bit annoyed by that, but I've been keeping my cool. I know, When I play this game, I normally just talk and it's... Um, it's twofold. I mean, that that's mental. I mean, I should have scored that. It's it's twofold, right? I talk because, um, you know, I'm like I'm I'm more ranting and oh, I meant to do this, I meant to do that. Why didn't it listen to me? Blah blah blah. But also because I find that well, I just talk to myself anyway, generally. But uh, it helps with commentary, you know. Like I'm not recording audio at the time, but for things like this, if you talk to yourself and you you're like a commentator or something, if you're talking to yourself constantly. You're used to doing a commentary. So, you know, like my brother always says to me, how do you sit there for 10 minutes and talk about 
one player or talk about a specific topic. Like, I couldn't do it. I'd run out of things to say. And it's just because I've got so much practice at it because I do it all the time. But I told myself to shut up. So I'm playing this in dead silence. I've got music on, but apart from that, I'm not talking and I'm not ranting and I'm not, not raving. And I'm just playing. And it seemed to work. But uh, when I go into today's session, that's the fourth rage quit, I think. No, that's the third rage quit, my bad. When I go into today's session, no doubt I will lose five in a row. And I will be five and five, and then that record won't look anywhere near as good. Uh, OGB Play says, I have played a month Vardy, but looking for Aguero or Auber or another good Prem Icon Striker under 320k. Any ideas? Uh, I, I don't, I mean, I don't know about ideas. Uh, I used a Bamiyang, and I've got to be honest, I wasn't a massive fan. Why Player of the Month Vardy, though? Like, I'm not saying he's not a good card, because he is. I didn't mean to do that, and then nearly got away with it, but uh, there we are. Um, I'm not saying he's not a good card, but I've seen a lot of people giving up their, you know, their Rashfords, and, and their, even their Aubameyangs and Agueros and things, getting Vardy, selling off their striker, and then just keeping Vardy. Now, Vardy's a good card, but I don't think he's worth selling off a big player like that. Um, I know that's not what you've said, but um, yeah, Icon Swaps right would be uh, would be a big shout. Um, but uh, he says he's already got Nesta, so you can't do that. So I, I would forget about an Icon. Yeah, forget about an Icon. I'd go with either Aguero or Aubameyang, uh, to be honest. Lacazette is not a bad player to use, by the way. And, uh, you know, you don't always have to go for the, the highest rated. You don't have to always pick one of the big boys. Lucas from Spurs is phenomenal. Um, he is far cheaper than any of those that you've mentioned. And, you know, I can afford to go and get Aubameyang. I could make him work in the team if I really wanted to. But I've gone for Lucas because he's very agile. He's good on the ball. He's very good in front of goal. He scores a lot of goals for me. He's the only player in my team so far. Okay, albeit he's played, what, 20 games? But he's the only striker or in indeed the only player that I have with a positive goal-to-game ratio. Um, so, yeah, it is what it is. I rushed this and I really should have taken another touch and lined it up a bit better. And I thought this was going to be one of those games. This guy was a good player. Very good player. It was a good game, though. I, was, I kept saying to myself all the way through, in my head, not out loud. Um, if I lose this, at least it's been in good gameplay. All five of the games have had tremendous gameplay. Everything worked. A few passes here or there going awry, but generally speaking, things things were looking good. Uh, HG says, everyone votes for Junior, and then TVM votes for William. Junior wouldn't fit in my team, and I would not complete that SBC unless it was like Vardy price or Corona price. Um, this is Zaha off the bench, and he scores a bit of a weird goal. I've got to be honest, I did not expect it to go in. It was a bit of a hit and hope. Uh, with that being said, though, that is our fifth win. And uh, without any further ado, let's get into the live portion of the video. And with that, we are now live. Uh, there are a few SBCs to speak of, one of which we're going to, actually two of which we're going to complete. So the first one is Jesus Corona with his uh, pretty decent looking uh, dynamic image. The um, I did a video on, on this yesterday, 6 o'clock content. I've been trying to do a little bit more of that lately. I don't know if anybody really cares, but I thought I'd t tell you anyway. Um, this card is... A card that I, I need on my bench because he's got a five star weak foot and he's got five star skills. Now the skills are, are all but irrelevant because the only skills I really use are drag back, ball roll, and that um, that new one where you do that little flicky thing that I did with Zaha in the the last game that I I think I just shown you. Um, showed you, yeah. Uh, so I like that move, but you only really need like three star skills to do that anyway. So I don't really use any skill moves that re that are above three. If not, you know, regardless of four and five. But it would be nice to have him on the bench. And he's got some insane agility and, and balance. Uh, really nice dribbling. In fact, his dribbling generally across the board is brilliant. Give him a chem style to boost the finishing and, and the shot power. And, and you've got a really nice card there. And it's only an 82 rated team. So I'm 100% going to complete that today. There is a pack as well. Born to play, which is a premium gold players pack. Uh, we'll, we'll complete that. I didn't actually look under live. No, there's nothing there. Uh, one thing I will say about this uh, Jesus or Jesus Corona is Porto, and I said it yesterday, Porto are bottom of the group, and they are not playing well. I don't know what they're like domestically, but in Europe, they've been awful this season, right? 
So, it doesn't look like he's going to get himself that upgrade to an 86. But, because it's so cheap, even if it doesn't get an upgrade and he stays as an 82, uh, 84, sorry, it's still a very good card to have off the bench, at least for now. Now, I do have a lot of cards like this. So, you know, for instance, Wilfred Zaha uh, have, have, you know, he's have, have, what are you on about? Wilfred Zaha has now started to come off the bench for me. Um... He plays very, very well, actually. I'm, I'm a big fan. And, uh, of course, he, he got a pretty pretty important goal for us in that uh, in that last game. And I've got Giovinco and I've got Carlos Vela. Is there really any need for me to do this? If it wasn't dynamic, I would actually be thinking, yeah, is there? Am I, am I just doing this because I want, you know, for the sake of content or just because? Or am I actually doing it because I'm going to use it and it's actually a decent card? If it were not a live item, I probably wouldn't do it. As it is a live item, I'm, I'm, it's not so much FOMO, fear of missing out. Um, it, it's, it's more sort of just what if, you know? If Porto turn it around and they actually manage to finish second in the group, which is not completely unfeasible, then I've essentially just missed out on an 86 rated card that could potentially be an 87, 88, 89 rated card just for the sake of an 82 rated team. So I'm not going to risk it. I am going to get it done. And I'm more than happy actually to get rid of some of these players. So there we go. I have completed it. It took me a lot longer than I would have liked, but it is what it is. We've used three sporting players, a Porto player, a couple of 83s dotted around the place. Yarstein, who goes for nothing. Jorginho and uh, Gilfie Sigurdsson, which again, they don't really sell for anything, so I'm not that bothered. And to get an 84 rated um, Europa League road to the final item, I personally think that's worth it. I'm a big fan of this as well. I'm hoping it's going to be the same thing, although he didn't walk out when I did the video yesterday. Um, he's not going to walk out again. I don't know why. That smoke looks so much better than it normally does. And bar the image being the wrong size EA, please update that. Um, yeah, I don't know why. I like that. I'm weird, I know. But hey, here's where it is. Um, we've got that pack to complete. Uh, I'm a big fan of that. He's going to go on the bench for Weekend League for sure. I don't know who he'll replace, but he'll replace someone. Um, we're going to complete Born to Play. I've done five two-player upgrade packs, and I bought them all with coins. I've not used anyone in the club. So I went out and I've got... Um, I literally had to buy them for 500 coins each, which little bit more than I wanted to pay. Right, now who do I want to get rid of here? Donk, maybe, or Simon Mignolet? Let's get rid of Mignolet, because, let's be honest, nobody cares about Mignolet, apart from his his mother, probably. Wolves was difficult last year, wasn't it? Let's hope it's not difficult this year. There we go, then. 88 chemistry. We could probably get away with actually using whatever we want there, but they're all common and uh, not that hard to pack anyway. In fact, we'll probably pack them all now anyway. Born to play complete. And there we go. Um, I think we're, we're caught up in terms of uh, in terms of SBCs now. We are literally waiting for them to drop icon swaps so we can work towards our Roberto Carlos. Incidentally, um, when we get Roberto Carlos, we're going to have a bit of a problem because we won't then get a link to PK. Therefore, uh, we'll have to get to Stegen if we want to keep PK in the team because obviously he's not going to get a strong link. We don't have a Spaniard in front of him or a Barcelona player for that matter. So, yeah, um, unless we look at maybe changing the formation or maybe some of the players look to be changed, which at the moment, to be fair, this team is playing phenomenally well. I don't really want to be changing anything. Um, Jordi Alba, I'm happy to change, actually, because I've not noticed him do anything spectacular. Let's do what we always do, and we'll open a bronze pack because it tends to lag on the first pack. I don't know why. I really don't. I wish I knew. I really do. Is he going to do it today? Yeah, of course. It, I mean, why? I don't know why. Uh, we get um, LA Galaxy player in there. Half days. A uh, few players I didn't already have. Get rid of all that. 100 coins, which means that pack was cheaper than expected. And we've got players for SBCs and such. Not bad. Right, so six packs. Five of which are two rare gold player packs. And then, of course, the 25k. We'll, um, we'll do a couple of these and see how the luck lies. I did five earlier on my main account and I got two boards which I thought was okay. Not a bad return. This first one isn't going to be a board, and it's going to be uh, Mikel San Jose, which, you know, I don't know, could be good, could be bad, probably bad. Let's, uh, let's hope that these are tradable. I mean, I'm going to discard him anyway because he probably doesn't sell for anything, but 
itchy nose. Right. Next up, another two rig gold player pack. I'm kind of hoping for like two boards. That's all I really want. There's um, not a board. I misread that for some reason. I don't normally do that, and I laugh at people that do, and I just did it myself. Uh, we're going to get ourselves Pedro in there. Not bad. I think he might be a duplicate, though. Um, no, he's not. I don't know anything. We get Cody in there as well. He was quite expensive last year because of the Wolves SBC. Only three left. They go down so quick. Can we get at least one board, please, EA? I mean, I'm only asking for one board. I'm not asking for... For the earth, you know, a road to the final card would be sexy, but I'm not I'm not asking for one. I just want a board. Uh, we get Diaz in there. Of course he's untra uh, untradeable dupe. Yeah, of course he is. I knew he was. I knew he was. Know your club. Go through your club. Study it. Next, two rare gold player pack. Come on, EA. This is the, this is the pack we get the board in. Uh, I mean, I meant the next one. I meant, I meant, I meant the next pack is the one that we get the board in. Uh, we get... Yokuslu? No idea. Ah, never heard of him. No idea. Get Andre Gray in there. He's an untradeable dupe. Well, these have not been worth it. Stay in school. Is that the wrong saying for that situation? I don't know. Let's move on to the final two-player pack. And we do get a board in this one. Happy days. It's not a walkout, but at least it's a board. Well, I wanted two. It's going to be Juan Cuadrado. Nope, it's going to be... Uh, what's his name? Radamal Falcao. Um, not even the good Colombian. We get Falcao. But... I mean, now and again, it's worth a risk, isn't it? What I spent like 10k on those, I think. Oh god, that guy haunts me in my dreams. Um, yeah, I think we spent about 10k all in all. I think I was on 330-ish before I before I built those. So, I mean, it's not it's not too bad. It's not the end of the world. Um, this is probably going to be the final action of today. I will check to see what Alan's price is before we end. But uh, if we can get a board out of this, obviously being tradable, it would be very, very nice. And um, we are going to get a board. It's not a walkout, which is a shame. But uh, at least we got a board. Croatia, left mid. No, striker, Kramaric. Well, you know, is what it is. I mean, left mid would have been nice because Perisic actually sells for like 6 7k because of Bayern. Uh, but, you know, beggars can't be choosers. And I am a beggar. So... I bought it. Um, <clears throat> I bought him to review on the other account earlier, and I ended up spending like three hundred and thirty-nine thousand. I think it was. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. If you've seen that video already today, if I've released it today, if not, then it's coming out. I know I could have just typed it in; it would have been quicker. But it is what it is. Um, so, and then I reviewed him, and then I went to sell him, and then bang, he's he's really cheap. He's like under. Okay, he's not under 300k just yet. Oh, maybe he is. He's bang on 300k. Which is in and around the price I'd be happy to pay. Now, his upgrade is embarrassingly minimal. But you're banking and gambling on him getting uh, an upgrade. Now, Napoli are in the same group as Liverpool. And those two are by far the strongest teams in the group. However, Red Bull Salzburg are proving to be somewhat of, uh, of, a, of a thorn in the side. So Liverpool have got to go there and play them. That's not going to be fun. And I think they play bottom of the group as well. So, what is it, Genk? Um, so, yeah, I, I, I mean, I think they'll brush Genk aside. Uh, I think Napoli have got Genk left to play as well. They should brush them aside. Do, do Liverpool have Napoli to play as well? I forget. I think I think they do. I think Liverpool have got Napoli and Salzburg left to play, which is a bit of a pain in the backside, actually. That's going to be difficult. I don't know. Uh, I I mean, it it is a risk. It's a gamble, but I think I'd be happy to pay around two fifty, and I'm what thirty k off that, and he's fifty k off it. So if we can meet in the middle, Alan, if you can come down to two fifty, and I'll raise the funds, I'll buy you. How's that? Is that a deal? I think that's a deal. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. I mean, I've used him. And obviously, we use the normal one. And I like the normal one. But that felt a little bit better. And we're gambling for that 87. Which I think, I think is going to happen. If it, if it, if, if Napoli don't go through in the Champions League, they'll go into the Europa League. And then they'll become one of the strongest teams in the Europa League. So, chances are, you know, he's going to get an upgrade anyway. Now, he won't get an upgrade for getting through the group stages of the Europa League. He'll have to wait for the knockouts. But um, 
There are plenty being listed around 300k. It's only a matter of time before people start undercutting. And then, in my opinion, or hopefully at least, when rewards come out and when squad battle rewards come out, he should start to creep down a little bit. And then when he goes out of packs, he'll go back up. That's the hope. Uh, what was it? So 442, it's basically the same thing, right? So pressure on heavy touch, uh, five bars for width, four depth, which is how I play my 4122. Two, and then we've got balance for offensive style, which again is the same. Two for corners, three for free kicks. Where this differs is I go one extra players in the box. Now, I've seen uh, many people play a 442 and they just pile people in and they, they use similar sort of tactics to what I have. But I find that putting too many players in the box leaves you with massive gaps when you lose possession. And I'm not, you know, sometimes, you know you're, you're sort of at the mercy of gameplay. If, if the game doesn't let you turn, doesn't let you pass, you're going to lose the ball, you're going to be in trouble. So, yeah, we don't want too many players in the box. Sixth? Sixth? No, seven, is it? It is seven bars. Of course it is. Uh, seven bars for players in the box. Uh, the formation, obviously, oh, Alan and Kante in the middle. Insigne left, Lucas right, Firmino and Mertens up top. And then the instructions. Now, I'm still messing around with these, but it seemed to work well in that last game. I switched into it. And it really helped me out a lot. Um, come back on defense for both of the strikers. Get in behind for both of the strikers too. So, you know, when we're in possession, they'll they'll go. Well, as soon as we lose possession, they'll come back. There is a limit to the amount of midfielders. I think it's, is it five you can have when you've got a four at the back formation? It used to be eight and now it's five, I think is how it works. So they'll only come back if there's room in the midfield. But that means there's always going to be five people in midfield, right? So two center mids. One of which is stay back while attacking. The other is drop between the defenders. What I forgot to do there was cover center so that he literally goes into the middle of the defenders and he stays there and he doesn't move. The the two uh, left and right mids uh, come back on defense, but also same as the strikers get in behind. So when we get the ball, they bomb forward. When we lose the ball, they come back. Uses a lot of energy, but we don't ever go into this unless we are struggling in the game and we can't break them down. Or from what I find, goal kicks. If I'm taking a goal kick and I've got my 4-1-2-2 and they're, they're using a, I think it's a 4-2-3-1, that formation literally marks every single player. If you ever wonder why you go to take a goal kick and there isn't an available player and you don't know what to do, it's because their formation is countering your formation. So have another formation set up. So I switch into the 4-4-2 and now all of a sudden I've got players that I can pass to because I, I do tend to lose the ball from goal kicks a lot. Um, that's the same for Lucas Moura as well. Uh, get in behind, come back on defence. Kyle Walker is overlap, same as Jordi Alba. I've left the two centre-backs alone. Uh, what I should do here is actually have Sweeper Keeper on Oblak. I don't know why I forgot to do that. I always do that. I love the fact that when the ball is played over the top, the goalkeeper is rushing and will, nine times out of ten, not all the time, but nine times out of ten, disrupt the striker and uh, we get away with it. But that's what I do if... I'm struggling in the game, maybe I've gone behind and I need to get a goal back and my formation isn't working. Uh, I tend to just switch into the 4-4-2 and I've tried it a few times in Rivals, it works and of course I tried it in Weekend League and that's how I managed to beat that guy. Zaha off the bench, 4-4-2, Zaha is the striker and he's buried it. Uh, that is 100% the end of this video now, so if you have enjoyed it, do me a favour and hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new and until the next time, goodbye. Football Index. The game changed. Download the app now.